What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. Today we're just taking a quick look at the weekly roundup for eFootball 2023. So we've got new players, we've got new legends and epic cards and we also have our first details on v2.2 which will be releasing in november so we'll get into that in a second we are going to cover obviously the first uh, events that are here or cover first the events sorry lads uh which are these ones there's a new liga bbva mx liga mx uh event where you can get these rewards it's taking ages to load for some reason so there's two new events there's a national teams event which is against uh you pvp you know playing against other people online and then there's also the liga mx uh ones as well so here are the rewards for that you basically pick one of these teams um and you will be playing as these teams not your dream team these are just playing as these teams and all you have to do is score goals and you get all your rewards so the ultimate reward is twenty thousand, but you can also get trainer programs which is 12,000 trainer programs which again isn't great at this time and it's the same with the national teams so play pvp matches and complete challenges to receive gp and other rewards pick your favorite team and take them to the top so it's pretty much any uh team that you see here so wales england portugal spain france i mean everyone's going to pick france anyway um and then you have to score three plus goals in challenge three uh maximum number of matches three so you get three matches to score three goals it's pretty easy enough depending on you know who you match up with or whatever but you should always be able to do this if you play it enough so that is the rewards for that so they're bit, pretty much rinse and repeat rewards and um objectives how you actually claim those and how you complete those events next up we have in the dream team i'll go through these a little bit quicker lads we have in the dream team here we obviously have our eFootball league which is still in its last week now i think um but we do have the italian league which is against the ai we have the j league which obviously was started monday and then we have the worldwide clubs which they have uh, repeated again here so this is against users uh pretty much the same as what we explained there with the national teams uh that you're you know you're playing with your dream team and obviously the ultimate prize here is 50 coins so you have to score you have to um, accumulate five points um over you know what four or five games you have to score accumulate one point in the in three matches in the first challenge challenge two you need you need a win and in challenge three you need either two wins or need a win and two draws and you do get thirty thousand gp and 50 e football coins um well forty thousand gp so that is it for the roundup of news if you guys are not at your console and um, that is what you're playing with you get a free chance deal here as well as in every week so this free chance deal i will be doing a video on that as i usually do just to keep you guys up to date but you basically play this one um you get your tour event complete and then once you do you get your ultimate prize of a free spin of a player of the week spin so moving on from that lads we are back to the actual cards before we get into the v2.2 data we actually do have new contracts and new cards uh, to have a look at here um, and we can take a look over on eFootballDB.com in a minute at these epic players uh, who look pretty decent. I mean, you already are going to be looking at some of them, um, such as Said Arf and Ronaldinho and Cafu. There has been versions out of them. But we do have new cards, which are... Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, here. So we have the Player of the Week cards, lads. I will be doing a review on these. There is some fairly tasty... Uh, players in here but obviously these players have no player levels they are on a form all of them are on a form but they have no player levels so you know you take a look at the likes of this guy lacroix he is a very very good player um and then Lewandowski is probably obviously the pick of the bunch on a form there he's a really really nice card 93 finishing 90 offensive awareness 70 acceleration which isn't too bad and he also has super sub which is an incredible um turn of events for this card but there's a lot of nice cards there betty Ashili is there as well he's a fairly decent center back so again any of the any of the players on a form are going to be very op um because the form does seem to make a big difference and we also do have the legends here which are the epic players uh ronaldinho cafu and sadarf so for the likes of sadarf he's got 38 levels which is extremely high um we have ronaldinho who has got 29 levels there has been multiple versions of these players out already of ronaldinho um or maybe it's been out twice the same one and Cafu has been out as well. He's got 39 levels. I think Cafu could be could be a massive, massive player here. We will check out in a second eFootball DB. But I will be doing a brand new um review on them guys as well. So it is going to be interesting to see there. 
So moving on, lads, we are also going to take a look at the new details that have dropped online. So I'll try and keep this short and sweet. There isn't that much to cover um, as we transition over to the V2.2 uh, information and stuff like that, because um, there is obviously, you know, there is going to be ways of dealing with us uh, with the way that they're trying to do it in terms of the v2.2 update which is going to be coming and how they're going to actually do that so we are going to go over to the official eFootball website here and they talk about eFootball 2023 v2.2 carryover details so this is kind of the first bit of news we get on this and they talk about you know that they are going to be obviously adding a lot of in-game assets and in in-game data that's going to carry over so if you have a specific player or you have a specific team they're obviously going to be carried over to eFootball 2023 when it's updated fully. And it says here that it is scheduled in November 2022. So what does this cover, right? So basically they're saying here that there's still sections to add, um, but they're saying here that the carryover details are as follows, will be carried over um, coins, points, your base team, your GP, nominating contracts, chance deals, contract renewals, players, managers, training programs, objectives, and various in-game settings. So they go into a little bit more detail then here. So they say that eFootball coins um, obviously will carry over to V2.2. eFootball points will carry over. Uh, they're saying that there's some might expire. Obviously, there is a large maintenance that is planned for the V2.2 update. Make sure to use them before they expire. All GP will carry over. What can happen to your base team? So if you are if you have a team picked similar as to if you had a if you had a Turkish team picked uh, from Eve Football 2022, that team wouldn't have carried over. So you will be asked to pick a new team if one of the teams say they lose a license or if one of the teams is no longer in there. So say if it's a relegated team, um, maybe you know from a team from a league that they haven't updated yet, uh, and you've got that team's kits and that team's base style, uh, you will ask you will be asked to pick a new one. So it's not a big deal because I would say that 90% of people probably have a top a top team in it. Um, you know, with like Barca's and Bayern Munich's and Ajax's and uh, Manchester United, any of the licensed teams. So that shouldn't be too much of a, a big deal. Uh, nominating contracts will carry over, chance deals, contract renewals, trainer programs, objectives, your avatar is available. If it is available, it will be carried over. User settings, username, country, region, data, birth, login bonus. What can happen to your players? So to talk about the players you have signed after the V2.1 update will be carried over to V2.0. Regarding players you have signed prior to V2.1, you will have to check the page players cards eligible for carryover, which will become available at a later date. So when we go back up here, you can search for the players that they're going to be actually actually able to search for players that will be carried over it's a little bit kind of yeah i mean it's it is a bit annoying um but i can see obviously if they don't have the licenses for some of the teams they have to take them out it's not you know it's not their fault um he will be carried over if his name is on the players list otherwise he will not be carried over the players eligible carryover page search search results are based on the data from the live update that will be applied on the day v2.1 update so i think the v2.1 update is coming in october if i'm not mistaken so it says that you can check all the players on your standard list. And then it says, you know, in case the player league will be updated, the, other, the addition, other data such as car level, appearance, all that will be carried over. Player cards that are ineligible to carry over. The amount of GP that you would spend to sign the standard version of this player, um, you will be given that back. So if you sign the player for 200,000 and then he's not carried over to eFootball 2023, you will get that 200,000 back. That's what it says there as far as I can see. They talk about featured and trending cards, um, well, players that are eligible to be carried over, the player will carry over as is, and it says the amount of GP that you would have spent to sign the standard version of this card. So that depends on, I presume, obviously, it'll be either GP or I don't, I don't know what they say about coins, but um, yeah, because if somebody has just signed, you know, a legend card with coins, um, but it depends on, you know, how they're going to do it with the with the featured players, you know what I mean? With the actual featured players. The trending players, they say that 1.5 times the amount of GP will be spent to sign the standard version. You will be given that and it will be converted to that. And then they also talk about a legendary card and an epic card, right? All epic cards will be eligible for carryover. But legend cards, you will be getting a chance deal. If your player doesn't carry over, you will get a chance deal which will give you a guaranteed legend player. So that's how they're working on that one. And then they talk about highlight players. In this case, the player's data will carry over as normal. Um, 
And it says any cards that aren't il- are ineligible to carry over, they'll say 1.5 times the amount of GP that would be spent on the standard version of the player according to the value displayed. So I can see, yeah, that's going to be a bit frustrating for some people. It shouldn't affect too many people. I don't think they're going to lose too many legends or whatever, but I could see it being a thing that if somebody has signed, say, let's just say, for example, if somebody had signed, you know, like a featured edition Sammy Eto, right? And he doesn't carry over, okay? You were going to get like 1.5 times the amount of GP that would be for that player, right? So that's obviously, sorry, that's not, I'm talking about a featured player or player of the year um, player. So if you were to sign Lewandowski this year, and then let's just say for some reason he doesn't carry over to eFootball 23, he will, but I'm just giving an example of Lewandowski. You will get the standard version of Lewandowski. So whatever he's worth, you will get 1.5 times that worth back in GP. Not coins, GP. That's what it says here, 1.5 times. So managers, it says the same thing about managers, lads. So uh, the amount of GP that would spend, literally just rinse and repeat the information I gave you there. And then there's a couple of uh, question and answers here. When will the player cards eligible for carryover and managers pages be available? Everything will be announced on the official website mid-October. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about, mid-October. That's when V2.1 is going to be coming. Um. And it says, please note that any player manager that will not be included in V2.2 will not be able to be signed starting from the date of the announcement. So yeah, from the mid-October, they're going to probably be updating the complete database and you won't be able to sign managers that are not going to be carried over. Will my game plans, including those, be carried over? Yes. Will unclaimed inbox items still be claimable once the update goes live? Yes. Will the unused nominating contracts that I already claimed for my inbox be carried over? Yes, but keep in mind, if a nominating contract expires, it can no longer be used. Will my players' remaining contract duration carry over? Yes. Will my unused contract renewals and training programs carry over? Yes. Are there any changes coming to the game console controls? If there are any changes, they will announce them at a later date. Will my balance sheet and match history uh, carry over? Balance sheet will match sheet will be reset okay your match history will be reset suspensions will be reset so you may immediately play matches with your players and will my ongoing objectives carry over yes so that is kind of all the information lads that we have and we the rest of the news we have here is for uh, ios and android where they're just talking about different crash issues that they're currently working hard on to fix and they're talking about different um, issues with the game plans and obviously uh, different display problems. Ish- issue can be fixed by returning to the top menu or whatever. So obviously, if you are a mobile player, you probably have run into a couple of these issues. And then they talk about everything here that we talked about has just been uh, covered in that where they talk about information regarding the in-game asset and other data carryover process, which is scheduled to take place during the large scale maintenance in November is now available on the website. That's that page there. So... Yeah, there's a lot to get through there, lads. There's a lot to get through, but basically it can be summed up in that if you have a player that cannot be carried over to eFootball 2023, if it's a legend player, you get a free legend back. Um, If it's a featured player or a trending player or something like that, you get the standard version of that card in the database and you either get the same GP it costs you to buy that standard version or you get 1.5 GP multiplier. So... Yeah, that is it for me. That's slightly longer video than I would have planned, but there is a lot to cover there. So I will talk to you later, Dave. Also, I thought I think uh, updated the game size as well from 50 GB, 50 gigabytes to 80 gigabytes. So they are obviously going to be adding a lot of stuff in preparation for what they're going to be adding new, whether it's going to be modes, whether it's going to be whatever. Let's hope and let's wait and see. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. Hope you enjoyed this weekly roundup and the V2.2 first look. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.